Okay, what's up everybody? My name is Adria. Hi, I'm Hazel. And um, I'm a sophomore here at Clark Atlanta University. I am as well a sophomore at Clark Atlanta University. And today we have a little theory that um, we're going to discuss, talk about, and um, hopefully you guys can relate. So um, the theory is called the Apple White Theory. So um, first of all, we want to shout out to Anthony Applewhite because um, these are actually his points that we're just going to go ahead and um, address. So um, the first point that we're going to get into is really simple. It's the um, never rearrange your time for um, a man, pretty much. And um, Hazel, did you want to go ahead and start? Um, basically, don't try to fit your schedule around a guy that you're talking to. It's just, I think... We think that guys are more attracted to girls where you're, you know, you're very busy, you have other things to do, and um, then you guys can, you know, try to set up the time to meet with each other, but don't always try to work your time around his. It's just, it makes you seem very needy and desperate, and it makes it seem like you're not doing anything with your life. So, it's, I think it's a turn off, basically. So, definitely the first rule would be to, um, Pretty much stay busy. Don't always drop your stuff and drop everything just to go see him because that says something about you, you know. You don't want to be thirsty, especially in the AUC. So um, the next point that we're going to go ahead and address is the three-month rule. Now, a lot of girls don't really follow the three-month rule. Um, you know, um, it's kind of hard sometimes when you really like someone and sometimes you have those in-the-moment type things. But um, there is a three-month rule, and um, it's basically three months before you let him have it. And Hazel is definitely going to elaborate on that. Um, basically, what the three-month rule is, you, you have to make him want you. And what I mean by that is, like, if you don't have any boundaries, if you don't have any values, he's not going to respect you at the end of the day. He's going to move on to the next jump off, and he's going to keep it moving. So my whole thing is if you stick to your, you know, 90-day rule, then, you know, you're more than likely going to have a successful relationship. And it's just, it, you know, no one gets hurt in the process, you know. Um, you respect yourself and you expect them to respect you back. So I just think that the three month rule would work better for everyone. Okay, so must definitely just make sure you stay in that three month mark, not before then, because um, you know, girls they tend to have feelings attached to sex. So just make sure that it's a three month rule if you want it to last. So um our next point is gonna be keep your options open. And basically how that goes is um don't just talk to more than one guy because you know, everyone's heard that saying, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. So pretty much make sure that um, if you're talking to someone, make sure that you have a backup plan just in case, you know, something goes wrong or he's not the guy for you. You always have someone else that you can talk to that might be um, the same as, you know, him or different than him. So um, make sure that you, like I said, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Um, I just want to elaborate on that. Um, especially if you attend Morehouse, Spelman, and Clark Atlanta University. Um, Clark Atlanta University has this, uh, about 26% boy ratio here. And um, basically what I like to say is to every one guy, there is probably more than likely four girls. Um, so to me, it's like if you're talking to a guy, always make sure that there's like at least two other guys that you know you have on the side or something like that someone that's you know if he fails to come through you always have a backup plan because guys do it anyway so what's wrong with the female doing that so all right then the next point that we're going to move on to is stay true to yourself now a lot of people change who they are to make the boy like you that's definitely not what you want to do and um hazelin's also going to elaborate on that as well um, the whole thing with um, girls, because they get a boyfriend or they're talking to a guy, they feel like they need to change how they were originally and they want to, you know, they want to fit in, they want to um, make the guy feel like, you know, they're just it for each other and she wants to do everything for him and then they forget that, you know, you should still hang around with your friends, you should still try to, you know, laugh, you know, play around and stuff like that. Some girls are intimidated, you know, to show guys how they really are. And um, 
I just want you to say like be comfortable with yourself don't don't try to change for anyone especially not a boy because you don't know how long he's going to be around and you're going to be the one ending ending up looking like a fool so um, at the end of the day just stay true to yourself because you can lose yourself out here and being so young but being independent at the same time you're still trying to figure out who you are and um it's just better to stick to your morals and your values okay and um here are the two really big points that i want to stress really really hard because a lot of times girls aren't really sure so the first point that i really want to stress out is um how do you know what a date is and um apple white came to the suites one time with um uh, NAACP, um, the whole entire court, so shout out to them. And um, he was talking about, you know, how do you know if it's a date? And unfortunately, I wasn't present at the time, so I'm not really sure how that goes, and I don't want to misquote anybody. So um, I definitely want um, Hazelin to go ahead and evaluate on that. Okay, Applewhite's theory, shout out to Anthony Applewhite. Um, basically, what he was saying is that um, when it sometimes as girls we assume that because he wants to take us out and um you know in a public place that we're going out on a date and um you know a lot of the times that's not the case you know sometimes he wants to just take you out you know nobody wants to chill around in the dorm all day 24 7 you know he wants to show you a good time but that doesn't mean that it's a date sometimes you know if he takes you out to go out hang out with the friends it's not a date it should be one-on-one, -on -one, you know, at a restaurant, you know, a movie, you know, something really nice. And, you know, he should be coming to pick you up. And, you know, he treats. That's how you know it's a date. If he's not doing that, if you're paying for your own shit, it's not a date. I mean, there's no other way to say it. So, um, basically, uh, just don't assume that, yeah, I've been on so many dates with him. It's, yeah, no, no, it wasn't a date. So, um, that's pretty much it and um what i was going to uh, tie into that would be what would consider a date in the AUC. and i would say first of all i think number one you shouldn't let your pride get in the way you should definitely ask is this a date you know just to make sure and if it is you know dating could be a movie and dinner or it could be something as simple as a walk in the park because i know you know we're all college students we all can't afford you know fancy dates and pastels and stuff so um definitely just um make sure that you establish that it is a date and once it is just make sure that he's you know taking you somewhere nice it doesn't have to be you know high priced but as long as it's nice like don't be considering the drive through in mcdonald's a date because that's not a date so um, our last topic is um, the second one that I really wanted to um, stress, and that would be the friend zone. And um, what we're going to say is what are signs of being in the friend zone? And I have 10 signs that me and Hazelyn are going to, you know, tag team on. So uh, Hazelyn, go ahead and do the first. Um, when you know you're in the friend zone, I'm going to say you know you're in the friend zone when um, he's able to talk to you about what girl he likes. Um, if he's able to talk about how big a girl's butt is, um, how big a girl's titties are, if he's able to talk about that in front of you, more than likely you are in the friend zone. That's just, that's how it is. Okay, um, the second one I would say is if he calls you on advice about what he should do or how he should make a move on another girl, you're most definitely in the friend zone. Because I guess he feels comfortable enough to feel like, hey, you're a girl, so you can help me out with other girls. That's how you know you're in a friend zone. Ladies, please stay away from that. He's like, go. <laughs> um, uh, number three uh, would be if he, um, if you guys go on a date, like I said, and he does not offer to pay to take you out or whatever. Um, if you guys go out to a drive through or whatever, you know, restaurant, if, you, if you're paying half, then you guys are more than likely in the friend zone. You guys are not dating. Um, you guys are probably more than likely not going to be more than friends because he doesn't have any interest in you. Um, number four. How do you know you're in the friend zone? Um, let's see. Okay, here's a good one. If he invites you over to his house to watch movies, that's pretty cool. You know, you're having a, a movie day with your friend. Which is really cool, but um, if it's another girl there, 
and it's another boy that's probably in the friend zone because it's kind of like a he set you up on a double date and if you were dating him you wouldn't